today is very hibiscus -y. I tried, I tried to film this with my hair down just to give it some variety, but it is too hot. Oh my God, it is so hot. It's going in a bun. So when I switched my major from business to statistics, everyone asked me this question, why? Why was I switching my major to statistics? Business was such a good major. It was applicable to everything. I can go into whatever field I wanted and statistics was so mathematical. And everyone was like, you like math? You like equations? Like statistics is so boring. Like what can you possibly do with it? And at the time I switched to statistics on the basis that I liked this one statistics class in college. And I didn't really have much knowledge about the field besides having a really good mentor and a professor that supported me a lot. So I guess I got lucky that I also ended up liking the rest of the classes as well. But after almost a year of being in this major and constantly being asked that question, I finally have five solid reasons about why you, yes you, should study statistics and why you should like it and why I like it. Even if you're not going to become a statistician, I don't expect any of you to become one. I'm probably not going to become a statistician myself, but just study a few courses. Okay, let's get on with the video. Reason number one, statistics is the backbone of literally every single subject out there. Without statistics, things would just be a theory or an untested hypothesis. So if you think about the subjects, biology, chemistry, journalism, political science, archeology, span mathematics, computer science, marine biology, I don't know, all these subjects, they all rely on extensively tested theories and research. And what is it backed up by? Well, in the end, that's all backed up by statistics. So statistics is more than just seeing that little blip of a number with a percentage by it in a research report. Statistics is how that research came to be. All those studies and all those surveys, all those numbers and data calculations and everything that went into it, that is all statistics. So every time you're making your green tea matcha latte in the morning because you read a study that it lowers your blood pressure or that you're buying blue light glasses because you read somewhere that it helps you sleep better, just know that all the research and science that went into those claims are all backed up by statistics. And this takes us into our next point. Since statistics is involved in pretty much every field out there, you can go into any field out there with statistics. Reason number two, statistics challenges your analytical skills and can bring you into any field. So now I'm not saying become a statistician. It's not the most hot job and I know people have other interests besides statistics. All I'm saying is maybe take a few classes because the things you learn in those classes, whether you know it or not, is probably applicable to every other job or position or workforce or anything out there. Just think about it. A statistics problem is normally you're given a data set and it's asking you to come up with some sort of analysis and a conclusion about the data. So that involves problem solving, looking at numbers and coming to a conclusion with some sort of meaningful interpretation. You're able to communicate numbers to a person using words. So all that critical thinking and quantitative analysis and reasoning and communication will really add to when you're being hired for jobs or even when you're performing on a team. It'll make you a better team worker, a better boss, a better leader, a better just person in general because you're able to communicate from data. Now by studying statistics, you can become an actuary where you're analyzing financial risk or you can become a data scientist, which is something that I want to do, where you can build robots out of artificial intelligence that will take over the world next. Or you can be part of a health company that's part of groundbreaking research to making the next protein powder that will help you grow muscles. Wait, I guess it already exists. That's steroids, right? Okay, well, whatever. You know what I mean. So whether it's fashion, food, fitness, travel, tech, health, marine biology, why do I keep going back to that example? Statistics has a place everywhere. Reason number three, you don't need to be good at math to be good at statistics. Take it from me. I hated math in high school and I struggled through the entire calc series of my first two years of college. I barely passed AP statistics only because my teacher rounded me up because I was failing the course. And now I am studying statistics. So you can be bad at math. You can be horrible at math in high school. You can be horrible at math in college and you can still study statistics. Yes, it'll be challenging for sure. If you're not a math person like me, I kind of ended up liking calculus because I was forced to because of how much calculus I was supposed to study. But just because I hated calculus doesn't mean I hated math. I guess I always liked numbers and I liked quantitative thinking, but not calculus. So just because you're bad at calc in high school doesn't mean that you'll be bad at stats. I found that high school classes don't really translate to what college classes are like. And again, with math, being good at math and being good at statistics are not kind of the same thing. And yeah, if you're not a math person, it definitely is gonna be challenging, but just know that stats is more about the communication. I watched this TED talk recently about why you should love statistics by Alan Smith. And he said this one line which really stuck with me. He said something along the lines that 
There's something that mathematicians hate about statistics. Where math is all about precision and certainty, statistics is pretty much the opposite. And that really stuck with me because people are always like, isn't statistics math? And to be honest, I don't think they're the same thing. Math is all about numbers and calculations and precision, like Alan Smith said, but statistics is more about the communication. There's definitely numbers involved within statistics, but I feel like the more important part is what can you say about those numbers? Going back to my AP stats class, one of the reasons that I did so poorly is because on the exams that I would always get back, which I pretty much failed every single time, I would get all these red marks from my answers because my wording was wrong. My number was correct, my calculation was pristine, but the way I worded the answer was wrong. I wouldn't use the correct wording or it would be too general or too specific and I would always get it wrong. And at the time I would get really annoyed because I didn't know why I was getting so many points off on the wording. But now looking back, I kind of understand why. Statistics is all about the communication. You can take data, but can you effectively communicate that and accurately communicate that to someone else? So if you're a person who likes talking to people and likes to take numbers and bring them to life or is more of a visual person and more of like a people person, then statistics is something that you might like. And at the end of the day, robots and computers are probably going to take over the world and they're going to be doing all the number crunching behind the scenes. But what they can't do is the storytelling of statistics. That's why people are so important because they can invoke empathy and understanding into the explanation of the numbers. So just know that you don't have to be a math genius to be good at stats or even to like it. You just have to like numbers a little bit and just be good at addition and multiplication and subtraction. You should be good. Reason number four, wait, no, three. Reason number three, statistics is about us. If you look at the etymology of the word statistics, it'll tell you that statistics is a science of dealing with data, of a condition of a state or a community. And that pretty much boils down to saying that statistics is about us. And yes, statistics is also about animals and plants and cars and all these other things, but at the end, statistics is about us, like the world. It's easy to make an unbacked argument by just saying that, oh, everyone hates driving long road trips, but with statistics, you can create a study that maybe has people drive long road trips and then study their mental health, their happiness, their performance, their alertness, and actually boil those down to numbers and interpretation and come to a conclusion about it. Or take this table for example. They need to have made sure like, okay, how many pounds of weight can this table support? How many things can we have on it before it breaks? They probably made multiple tables and tested different types of woods and screws and all these things and used statistics and data analysis to see which was the best table to use or what is the maximum weight that this could hold? All this stuff around us that exists is because of statistics. The reason why it works is because statistics was used to back it up. So every time you think of that random fact, like, oh, I don't know how the average American produces four and a half pounds of trash a day, just know that that fact exists because statistics was there to back it up. And that brings me to my last point. Point number five, that's 10. Point number five, statistics brings data to life. So there's something really exciting about having a data set that's thousands upon thousands of thousands of rows of information about God knows what, and then writing a few lines of code and aggregating the data and making some pretty visual, but then that visual or that one line of code is able to represent the entire data set. You boil down that maybe 10,000 rows of data into one little image or one little line of code which told you pretty much everything you needed to know. I can't learn by just looking at words or I can't learn with someone just spitting information at me. I need images, I need visuals, I need whiteboards, I need graphics. And that's something that statistics helps us to do. Take these two images, for example. They both tell you the same data, but which one can you understand more? It's gonna be one with the colors and the graphics and the visuals. The one with just the numbers and the words, you're gonna have to read it and you don't really know what's going on. But with the visual, you're able to look at it and know exactly what's going on immediately. And that to me is really exciting, that statistics can bring data to life. And that pretty much covers it. I didn't think I was able to boil down all my reasons into five cohesive points. If you think I missed a reason, or you have a reason of your own, why you list statistics or why anyone should study statistics, be sure to leave a comment down below. I really enjoy making these videos and just being able to help you guys out. And I promise you I will be making more videos beyond statistics, such as going into tech or data science, but I'm just getting my feet a little wet. If you're new here, my name is Rachel, I'm a statistics and data science college student, and I not only really like learning about this stuff, but I also like teaching it and helping you guys understand it better, or just giving you advice, stuff that I learned along the way to help you guys out. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!